Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menacarza. Today it's about 75 degrees. Seriously warm weather. I'm having to adjust to the warmth because uh, previously it was uh, 5 degrees, 0 degrees, minus 5 degrees here in Fort Worth just a week and a half ago. So it's quite a jump in temperature. I'm at uh, Western Campers off of Camp Boy. That way is the Naval Air Station. This is a rather noisy road. A major thoroughfare here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic. Let me turn around the camera. I'm gonna give you a, a tour, a tour, a rudimentary tour of uh, Western campers. Let me turn around the camera. So there I am at uh, Western Campers. Uh, this is the thoroughfare known as uh, Camp Bowie Boulevard. Yesterday I was at uh, Motor Home Specialist, which has uh, close to a thousand uh, units. Here at uh, Western Campers, I think they may have between 50 and 100. So, a little bit of a difference. So they carry everything from these uh, travel trailers that have the uh, hybrid quality, you know, half tent, half uh, travel trailer. When I was inside this uh, hybrid right here, definitely smelled like a tent. So they have the Vikings, the Viking 9.0, the Viking 12.0. These are uh, itty bitty little uh, travel trailers. These tires look oversized. <laughs> So this was manufactured a little uh, close to a year ago. So that just says Viking. This is a Explorer 9.0 and, and this one's a Pro 12.0. Very nice. Let me show you a quick uh, shot of the 12. Yeah, some storage here, sofa here, turns probably into a bed, looks like it slides out. And then you have a gigantic bed there, microwave, small refrigerator, sink. And then you have this uh, combo uh, cassette toilet and shower. Let me go downstairs. As far as they're significant, they are ST235-75R15s by Westlake. Behind here you access the cassette toilet. Behind here, this is significant, I mean this is super significant. Let me open this up. And this is the old school, these little clips, not magnets, old school. This is. This is for families who want to uh, go camping and not spend their uh, children's inheritance on uh, a new RV. So, first of all, you uh, grab it right here and you pull out this. This is a monstrosity. <laughs> and right here, extend it out some more. So this goes out a little more, but I'm not going to pull it out all the way. That's where the uh, the griddle is at. So you have a little sink here, fridge here, and this is a two, uh, if I remember correctly, let me open this up. It sticks there, there it goes. Has two zones apparently, or one zone with two sections. Uh, that's a question for the dealership. That's an Everchill. You have a table back here, etc. etc. What do you think of that? You can always add uh, two batteries, two propane tanks, 
And uh, let me lock this thing up. Let me see if I can do this without uh, injuring myself. Looks like I have to... Uh, It's the only way I can do it. Let me close this and lock that now. A lot of folks who do these videos have a crew. I do not have a crew. My wife is too busy making the big bucks as a professor. Not really big bucks, but good amount of bucks as a professor. So she's uh, not available to help me out. And I make so little on this channel that uh, it's not worth my time to hire somebody. So that's the 9. And that's the 12. Let's take a quick peek at the 9. Again, you have the uh, hookups and connections here. The outdoor air conditioner here. Usual box air conditioner. This one uses uh, one on the top. You have an area there where you can open up a bottle of refreshment. Again, this one's more compact. There's the uh, GE. Chinese made uh, air conditioner, controls for the air conditioner, a little sink, some storage in the bed, etc. etc. So there's some more Viking products. There's the offices. I'm going to walk around aimlessly. There's some Flagstaff uh, pop ups. Flagstaff Mac SE, list goes on. These are super, 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 super aerodynamic. Look how compact that is. You can tow that behind your uh, midsize SUV without any issues at all. No problems. That's a little bit larger unit, and this is how it looks with the tents deployed. What do you think? Here's a more sturdy unit. Let's take a quick tour of this SE. It has storage up front. Two tents. Etc. etc. I'm only gonna go on for around 30 seconds. It's a good sized bed here. And then you have another bed on the other side. Sink. Iron sink. Stove top tiny fridge down here so you can have somebody sleeping here right here on this and sleeping here sleeping there sleeping there so you if you have a lot of friends or a very large family uh, you're pretty much set and under here this is the interesting part is the toilet and shower very nice let's get out of here Okay, this is again the Flagstaff Special Edition 228BHSE. What do you think? Again, you could put some mods and ends up here, huh? So let's walk around. Again, they have, uh, you know, maybe 50 RVs at this joint. It's not a massive chain, so I'm pretty sure that. The folks in charge will give you some seriously high quality customer service. They have some used vehicles here and there, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. They're big on Lance campers. So I'm pretty sure all these are coming in for service or to be set up uh, for uh, sale. So. Eagle Cap, Lance, Northern Light. They're a Northern Light distributor. And a Lance distributor. They have quite a few. These are very nice. I love this. I did a review of this one right here. And I absolutely loved it. This is the uh, 10-2EXCD LE wet bath from British Columbia. Let's go inside. This is a seriously upscale product. You'll see once we're inside. Very nice woodwork with even inlay. Wow, nice chairs. 
Good sized beds, storage over there, storage over there, cabinets, TV area, a window, and look at this cabinetry. Let me give you a tight shot. Look at that cabinetry. You can't complain about that. And then you have a mirror on the refrigerator. That's pretty brilliant. As you're coming out of the bathroom, you use this as a mirror. Wow. And you have super large uh, sink here, countertop, and again, wow, look at that cabinetry. I like to have that kind of cabinetry in my house. <laughs> There's a suburban oven and cooktop three burner. And uh, what do you think? It has a standard toilet, not no uh, cassette toilet. In this wet bath, a sink and an area for a toilet paper. And there I am. Man, as I get older, I'm getting more hideous. I apologize. Let's get out of here. Just wanted to show you this. Again, I'm supposed to be uh, shooting a very quick tour of this joint. And again, they have quite a few of these northern lights. Quite a few. Let's go over here. So we're over halfway through our tour. There's a Lance. They do have used RVs. I'll leave links in the description. And also, uh, you can just uh, go to their website. I'll leave the details for that. So that Northern Light is significantly larger than that Lance, don't you think? They carry their uh, dealership for uh, Riverside RV Explorers. And these are two used units, I can tell because they were both manufactured a couple years back and I could see a little wear and tear on them. So you can contact them if you want a very large pop-up. A very, very, very large pop-up, has pop-up sides, whatever you want to call it. It's essentially a travel trailer with pop-up sides, front and back. Let me show you that one inside real quick. Again, okay, this is a two-year-old unit. I'm pretty sure the folks at Western Campers will give you a good deal on this uh, 235S Shamrock Hybrid. It has this little uh, bed over here. This canvas is an un un unmistakable smell of a tent. You have a GoPower uh, primitive uh, PWM uh, charge controller and display. There's your controls for your air conditioning. And right here you can cruise around. And there's some of your controls. You know, double sink, cooktop and oven, microwave, magic chef, refrigerator, fuse box, storage. An area for your TV. Get the biggest one possible that'll fit in there. You have a fan up there and you have the uh, space heater slash fireplace and storage right there and this is the other side where somebody's gonna be sleeping and you have some area here where you can uh, put some odds and ends <laughs> there we are have storage twin recliners and a dinette so that can become bed area this is a bed area and over there is a bed area so you have quite a bit of uh, areas where you can go to bed and this looks like my uh, Rockwood Mini Light 2205S exact same bathroom setup no difference zero difference nice floors looks like it's been well cared for and again I assume this is a used unit but it seems like in mint condition personally what do you think let me take a wide shot 
so you can enjoy this unit. If I had a small family, a lot of children, a lot of children, <laughs> maybe uh, a daughter there, a son there, you have two kids, so they can each have their own spaces. Or the son over there and the daughter over here, so they don't fight in the middle of the night. So, very nice. Standard Rockwood Flagstaff stuff, connections, etc., etc. And over here, look at that. That is a significant refrigerator and oven right there, and receptacles and storage. It's all here. And it just comes out like that. Just easy in, easy out. What do you think of this? Wow, this is uh, definitely uh, good for the family. Hang out by the grill at night. Grab a beverage from right there because you're, you have full hookups. And of course, up front, you have an uh, area for two batteries if you want and uh, two large propane tanks. And again, uh, this is a used item. That's a definitely used item. And then of course that Apex is definitely a used item. So contact the folks here at Western Campers if you have any questions regarding anything. Say, hey, do you have any deals? I have some money in my pocket and I gotta spend it. And I do love this uh, Lance Enduro. I'll leave links in the description if I remember. That's the question. Do I remember? Uh, to a video I did on the Lance Enduro. I really like it. Plenty of solar, very sturdy, very nice. My only major complaint about this unit was that it used a PWM, not an MPPT charge controller. They didn't want to spend the other 50, 60 bucks on something uh, 10 times better, in my humble opinion. So, where am I? I'm at Western Campers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let me go in the shade over here before I turn around the camera. Because uh, after surviving the 0, 5, and negative 5 degree temperatures here in Fort Worth, I haven't acclimated to the 75 degree weather. Let me turn around the camera. As they say in Espanol, muy caliente, muy caliente, calientísimo. <laughs> Hope you're doing fantastic. Again, uh, quite a few uh, used items here. And uh, almost all of the RV dealerships I've gone to in the last few days have had tremendous inventory, new especially. And this place here has some used RVs. And if, I'm pretty sure, sure if you're a good negotiator, you can get a deal. A good deal, a significant deal on a used RV, especially if you're just uh, on a tight budget. You know, I was on a tight budget for a long time. I used to just go truck bed camping, tent camping all the time until two years ago when I bought my first, my absolute first travel trailer. Okay, so Hope you're doing fantastic. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have a chance, uh, leave your kind and friendly comments below. Abajo, muchas gracias. And ring the bell for future notifications. And check out my website, my RVTA photo website. Uh, the link is somewhere down here and also in the description. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Again, where am I at? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas at Western Campers. Gracias. Adios.